What's up guys, it's Alex here and we're doing a full up video to the video I did a couple of months ago on this video as well as on Ken Gamers. They went down really really well so thank you for the amazing support and uh, in this video I just said I'm going to do a follow up to that and we're going to look through all the comments on both my video as well as on the Ken Gamers video and we're going to sort of, hopefully we're going to have a link down in the description where you can click to tweet this to Codemasters so you know hopefully we can get some changes done and actually the community can get involved and actually get something done in this game so yeah so I just hope you enjoy this video now probably the most requested thing in all of the comments was the AI improvement now in this game the AI from time to time I mean they can be good at some tracks and then really really slow at others now this race was on legendary and you know I didn't do really that well but it was, it was a decent -ish gameplay that I can show you and you know to be honest, in 2011, the Red Bulls were dominating, and to be honest, this was actually a bit more realistic, this race, where the Red Bulls were actually ahead of the McLarens and the Ferraris, but, you know, at the end of the race, I was catching the Red Bulls at quite a speed in the Ferrari, and to be honest, I don't really think that's very realistic, and maybe, maybe, you know, you can keep them AI as they are now, and then add an extra option like true AI, that's what I see a lot of people commenting down there, and... You know, that's probably the most requested thing. So, if you want to add an extra AI difficulty, like, realistic or something, and, you know, it would really just improve the game, I think. You could have where, you know, the AI actually make mistakes as well, you know, because that's another thing that people were talking about down in the comments, as well as, you know, just making an overall improvement, because the soundtracks, they can be really, really slow, and, you know, maybe make it a bit more balanced, because in some tracks, as I said, it's slow, and other tracks, they're fast, so it's a bit weird, but, you know, hopefully Codemasters can get that round and done for the next game. Now, it's already been established that there is a Young Drivers program in this game, and, well, I mean, the 2012 game, and we don't know at the moment whether that's like a, you know, GP2 or GP3 test or F1 test with a like, lower down team. We're not really sure yet, and I hope that they do include maybe GP2 and GP3, because on the TV it's all licensed by the same people like that film it. So maybe, you know, if they grab that license, maybe they can grab the license for the GP2 and GP3, or, so, you know, Formula 3 or something like that, because I mean, it would make it such a good sort of game if it's like road to formula one like world to world road to world champion or something like that a lot of people have been requesting that as well so you know maybe if they did that maybe if they haven't completely figured out the young drivers program yet maybe you could add that in if if you're allowed to but if not this young driver program does sound pretty cool and it's a welcome relief to a lot of gamers that you're putting something like this into your game a lot of people have been asking is like a hardcore mode where you have like no assists and nothing and the cars let extra twitchy and just you know a lot a lot more realistic and then adding in these sort of legend AI I was talking about a little bit earlier I think we can make it sort of really a lot more realistic because we saw in the F1 trailer the F1 drivers saying that it's quite realistic and we don't know whether they're talking about F1 2012 that like a beta you know version of that game or they're talking about f1 2011 but in my opinion 2011 really wasn't that realistic in a lot of ways i mean they improved the driving in the rain that was quite a lot more realistic and i thank them a lot for doing that but maybe if you could just take it to the next level do a little bit more you know it will come to a gamers will be a lot happier if this you know has a mode where everything's just a little bit less forgiving and a bit more realistic now, I'm wondering whether you can actually do this, or whether the FIA, like, a breaching this from being happening, or what, whoever it is that making, let Codemasters make this game. I wonder if you can, like, be able to design your own team. Maybe start off with the HRT, and you can start off with your own livery, and you can decide the oh, your own sort of R&D pattern. And over seasons, you can, you know, grow as a team, and, you know, maybe... I know this might be a bit far-fetched, but if you made an extra game just to do this... Now, I know that F1 Online is trying to do something like this, but, you know, people on the console are missing out on a... You know, the, the co-masters are missing out on a big market. They could be doing that sort of game on the Xbox, maybe making it, like, 1,200 points or something. I don't know. It'd be a really interesting game to be, like, an F1 manager, or maybe you design the car and race the car. That would be good as well, so then you can, you know, use the R&D yourself and, you know, work out which is best and stuff like that, but... I don't know, it's just a thought, maybe, you know, in a couple of years' time you could work something out like that, because a lot of people would really, really like that. Another massive thing is improving the safety car, maybe letting us do an outlap and an inlap after the race, and, you know, you know, because that is just, 
something that adds to the effect. It might not be a massive thing to do for the like developers, but it's just a massive thing for the player. It's just, it makes the overall experience of the game a lot more rewarding and a lot more fun. So, you know, that's something really, really important that's really not that hard. And maybe something you can actually put into F1 2012. And, I don't know, just, just a thought, maybe they could do that if, you know, they put their minds to it. Because I think Codemasters, you have the tools to make a really, really good game. You don't think you're just utilising them right at this moment. Now, lots of people, including myself, really enjoyed the co-op season that you had put into the game. And just thank you so very much for putting that in because it's, it's actually brought a lot of great times for this racing. Because even though it can be annoying at times with the corner cutting, which is something else you could you know maybe try and fix because that's a bit frustrating but you know the co-op season was really really fun it sort of makes you and a friend get through a season together and it's just really really fun so yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you all for watching remember to go and click the click to tweet down in the description uh hopefully i've got one ready and prepared so just go and click that and hopefully clove masters will take some of these things and consider into consideration and we can have an amazing f1 2012 so yeah thanks for watching guys have a great day it's been alex and i'm out of here adios